Hello everyone. I am very glad to see you all again. Are we ready to go ahead and get into the agenda? Yes, we are. But why would the GS1 architecture group want to talk about SCAN for transport? The GS1 system architecture covers all GS1 standards and guidelines. It helps to ensure that everything within the GS1 system works together. Excellent. Because we are excited about new opportunities, like SCAN for transport, but the users need to leverage existing investments and solutions that they have already implemented. That's one of the primary reasons why the GS1 system architecture exists. It doesn't just explain how identify, capture, and share all work together. It sets the parameters under which the GS1 system can be expanded upon in a meaningful and modular way that allows everything to scale as needed. You mean like an app on my phone? The app does the new and really interesting stuff. But it's absolutely no good if my phone doesn't work. Good analogy. In the world of a scan for transport, we can see the need for 2D barcode scanning for certain applications. But many transport companies have highly integrated systems using EPC RFID tags on the physical items, linking while EPC IS systems logging real-time events so customers can track their packages using the SSCC online. Exactly. The GS1 system architecture documents explain how all of those pieces can and should work together. By defining common elements like the GS1 identification keys, a very strong foundation for the GS1 system has been formed that can continue to be built upon as we all move forward together. By following the GS1 system architecture, transport companies are not only ensuring current processes and systems work, but also designing them in a way that they can support new and better ways to achieve the same business objective using the same fundamental building blocks.